Hi everyone, this is Marina Colmer with William Ravis Real Estate. I'm so excited to introduce you to two of my closest friends, Lisa Greco and Shireen Jones with Healthy Now and Why. Um, Lisa is also the owner of Energy A Health and Fitness. Um, she's a personal and group fitness coach. Shireen Jones is a wellness educator and culinary coach and has some fantastic recipes, so you need to check that out. Um, so they are the co-owners of Healthy Now NY, which is Westchester County's premier wellness coaching company. And I thought that we would take some time today to talk about um, some of the issues that I know in my conversations with clients, friends, family, that we are running into being home all day with our new um, for me personally, I'm not really snacking too much during the day, but I am having more wine, a gla you know, more glasses of wine at night um, than usual, which ultimately leads to me also snacking a little more, I shouldn't say a little, a lot more um, with, on sugary treats, you know, Oreos, cake, what kind of whatever I can find, I start um snacking not very mindfully so i thought i would give the floor to lisa and shireen so maybe they can give us some tips on how to stay healthier in this time and not do so much snacking thank you. Thank, you. Thank, you <laughs> thank you for having us thank um, you for joining me yeah so um shireen would you like me to speak first yeah sure go ahead lisa um i think this particular situation is presenting a lot of challenges, but I think that these are issues that probably always existed even when we weren't in quarantine. Um, uh, actually, now is really not a bad time to double down on things. Uh, when I speak with clients, when we talk to clients, one of the major roadblocks that I hear about all the time is that I don't have time. I don't have time to cook healthy. I don't have time to take care of myself. Uh, I work till late during the week, so I can't cook a meal. My kids have sports on the weekends. We don't have time. Actually, so now we've gotten rid of that roadblock. I think we, we're busy because we have different tasks, but we are home and we're spending time at home. So now we have options and we have the ability to do things that are more healthy for us. So we're taking the roadblock thing out of the equation. Um, we are worried about our health. We are worried about keeping our health, our families healthy, and we're worried about getting the virus. We don't want to get the virus. So number one and forefront in, in our thought should be, how do I protect my body? How do I protect my systems? Now, um, I'll just take it one step further. We know, I'm sure maybe I'll make you speak to the point of maybe the people that are drinking more than one glass of wine at night that are finding themselves imbibing in that cocktail now that they never had before. Is that okay if you speak to that? Sure, sure. Well, I think, I think one of the things that you were talking about, Marina, that a lot of people probably find is once they start that, um, they open up that path, let's just say, or open up the channel with the one glass of wine, it might lead to two, but it also leads to, like you're saying, more sugar. So it opens this pathway of, you know, like all of a sudden freedom. Okay, I just in and, and what happens is, um, is it it you get a you get a, a feeling in your mouth that you just want to eat more and more sugar. And of course, when we're stressed, we want to eat more and more sugar. But the other thing to think about when you're you're having that glass of wine, which you might want to have, you know, in this stressful time, is you need to remember how that glass of wine affects you. Of course, we know in sort of the general health ways, but for you right now, and what Lisa was saying is keeping our bodies healthy right now because we don't want to get the virus and we also don't want to, um, you know, get other people sick if we do have it, um, is that drinking alcohol and certainly eating sugar as well late at night affects your sleep. Right. And so one of the most important things that you can do to take care of yourself is getting adequate amount of, um, amounts of sleep. And certainly a lot of people are finding, well, you know, I, I can sleep a little later in the morning. I'm not going off to the office, uh, but you might be compensating on the other end, staying up late. And, and then if you add the two or three glasses of wine, then you're waking up in the night and you're not getting good sleep. And that is, does not help your immune, uh, your immunity. 
Yeah. It, de it definitely affects my sleep. I usually sleep like a dead animal and I'm waking up, you know, three or four times a night, you know, from the sugar. Um, so yes, absolutely. So I'm trying to work on getting more sleep. Right. But so I think just like in other times, we have to begin, especially as we age, we have to begin to pay, pay, paying attention to our systems and how our bodies work and how do we create the healthiest possible body. Right. So, you know, alcohol may not serve us at any time, whether we're in, we're in quarantine or not. But on the other hand, if if you find that you have a glass of wine and it helps you cope better, then you have to think about, OK, I will do this, but I need to do this in moderation. And again, I'll reiterate at any time in your life, whether we're in quarantine or not, to, to understand how certain foods affect our bodies. Right. Right. So right. it's about having that awareness. How do I create the, the healthiest body possible? Right. So do you have any tips for those who are grazing during the day? That's not an issue for me. I find that I am staying on my schedule. I'm eating healthy during the day. For me, it's the nighttime issue. But I'm hearing from a lot of my friends and clients that you know, they get up and, you know, they have breakfast and then they start grazing and they have a sugary treat, you know, mid morning. And it's just whatever is around, they see it and they eat it. Um, are there tips to help, you know, curtail that? Um, I think you, I think when you see food, you um, crave it. Is that, an, is that unusual? I mean, at least it's not the seafood diet. <laughs> I like, I like. Yeah, I, I like to eat, so what can I say? But but I think so. We eat with all our senses, you know, we eat with all our senses, including our vision, right? Um, I like to speak to that. I think that, you know, it's plan, plan, plan. Right. Again, you know, it's about taking the time when you do shop, what will I be eating? And it's okay that maybe we're consuming more foods. In fact, it might not be a bad idea. So long as we're consuming more of the healthy, nutritious, wholesome ingredients that will support our bodies and our systems again, our immune system. Right. So like what I've been doing, I'll give you an example. What I've been doing is um, uh, I love my mason jars. So like I'm creating little say yogurt parfaits, okay? With, you know, with the right ingredients, you know, non-sugared yogurts, you know, just plain Greek yogurt and putting in fruit and nuts and seeds and coconut great you know a shredded coconut and i create these little jars and i put them in the fridge so that when we do have a hankering for something it's it's a right choice it's the right choice and it's foods and ingredients that will support us during this time but plan right and i you know something that's really delicious and that people forget about is an old-fashioned thing fruit salad you know, if you, if you take some time to cut up some fruit, and I mean, it's not a great fruit time right now. We're sort of between seasons, but you can kind of get the end of the, the orange season and the, you know, some berries still from South America and maybe some apples and pears and put them together with some lime juice or lemon juice and have that in the refrigerator and go have a bowl of that. And I tell you, that will satiate your sugar craving and, and it's delicious and it's good for you. Um, so that's another, that's another tip. Um, and, and to what Lisa was talking about, okay, so A, you have, you plan, like we already said. B, you, you prepare things in advance so that maybe you don't reach for the things that do not serve your body right now. Um, but the other thing is we have to think outside of our little worlds um, and, and our, you know, this, this sort of all-encompassing thing, the COVID-19 that's right in front of us. We want to take care of our bodies for that reason, 100%, and we need to protect ourselves so that we can protect our entire community. But we also have to remember that there are other things that are going on outside, and a lot of us are spending more time outside. Hopefully, we can go on walks and so on. It's the beginning of the allergy season. And so while you're at home, maybe you're eating your chips and your snacks and all these processed foods that, do, that just cause inflammation in your body, you go outside, you've got all these allergens, this is how the systems work, and it's not healthy for you. And so you're just increasing your allergy symptoms that may lead to colds and so on and so forth. So it's just, it's keeping our whole body and, you know, systems healthy as possible to ward off those things so that we can stay strong to ward off the COVID-19. Right. And, uh, uh, go ahead, I'm sorry. No, no, you go, you go. What I was gonna say is, I'm sure you've heard a lot of your friends and people saying, boy, things are gonna be different when we get back. Our life has changed. 
we look at we'll be looking at things differently and and yes we will be and maybe and i'm sure you even discussed it amongst your friends maybe there's a lot of good that actually will come out of this people understanding the fundamentals of life and the things that actually do make us happy and that do serve us fresh air sunlight being together with the family um taking care of yourself so this is actually quite an introspective opportunity i think right now so that these changes that we had we were forced to make are going to make a big difference in our lives and i'm sure we're going to keep some of those things and that's the same thing for our wellness right you know we have to make more conscious decisions about do we drink more than one glass of wine or do we graze all day? And if we graze, what are we choosing? So this is actually, I think, um, this puts us in a situation where we are becoming um, proactive versus reactive. Yeah. Yeah. So planning and we health. think and health care. Yeah. Self care is health care and food is medicine. Yeah. Food is medicine and you can, you can use it for good or for harm. And so Correct. why not use it for good right now? This is the time to really um, get, get uh, become friends with your vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, ladies, you, the, these tips are extremely helpful to me and I am sure they are helpful to those who are going to see this. Um, I also think the perspective um, that you just gave us on how to look at this time um, that we have right now and think about what is truly important to us. And, you know, I know, I, I know personally that I am enjoying cooking more. I'm cooking more because I'm not out in the late afternoon showing homes. I'm, I'm home. <laughs> I'm actually, you know, able to put a meal together. Um, and, and we're not eating out as much, which has made a difference for me, for me as well. But I want to thank you both so much for joining me today. And I want to tell everyone out there that you really should go check out healthy. Okay, I'm going to get it right now. HealthyNowNY.com because they have some fantastic recipes. And I can attest that I have made some of these recipes and I have been a part of um, their detoxes, their seasonal detoxes. And I've participated in those programs. And I those recipes from the detoxes um, are some of my go-tos all the time. Um, so I want to thank you both, Lisa Greco, Shireen Jones. You can find them at healthynowny.com. You can reach out to them. You can reach out to me, Marina Colmer, if you have questions. And we just wish everyone joy and peace and health and happiness. Thank you. 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 Go to our website. Please be sure to sign up so that you can receive our very helpful tw twice a month newsletters. Uh, we give you all kinds of uh, links to our YouTube videos, cooking videos. We have a blog on our website where you get lots of great information there and be part of our community. There's nothing, you don't have to, you don't have to pay for anything. It's just come on in, be part of our opportunity. We have so much information we want to share with you to keep you healthy during your quarantine and always. Yeah. So thank, you. thank you for having us, Marina. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you for sharing, thank you. for sharing your information. And guys, definitely go to their website and sign up for their information because it is fantastic information. Be well, everyone. Hope to thank see you. Thank you, Marina. Thank you. Bye. 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 Thank you.